Hey guys, my JK here. Just want to talk about the upcoming Final Fantasy Tactics Part 2 banner. Uh, these characters are more interesting, at least from a story perspective, but uh, I think also with their abilities that they bring. Um, so let's begin. The main prize of this banner is Ramsa, who is actually the main protagonist in the game. Um, interestingly enough, main protagonists are usually like, you know, big bad warriors or powerful mages, but he's primarily a support which is um, holds true in this game as well. He's not going to be as much of a powerhouse as he is in Record Keeper, but he's still a pretty useful unit with some interesting um, surprises, I guess. His trust mastery is Brave Suit, which is a nice armor for physical damage dealers. It's based on percentage, so it's actually very uh, future-proof. I think I read somewhere that it's still the best armor, um, or clothes at least, for physical damage dealers even in Japan. Um, so it's definitely a good trust mastery. I don't know about you though. I'm having trouble keeping up with all these new trust masteries. So I think it's not a top priority as much as something like dual wield, but if you're able to get them really quickly and easily, then it's um, definitely nice to have. He has good equipment selection, as you might expect. Um, he's really, he is a support, but he's very much a jack-of-all-trades. I know I've said that before, but he really is. So his stats are um, good all around. He's um, best at attack, but he's also good at magic. Uh, well, it depends on how you uh, outfit him, I guess. So his abilities to note are, um, well, his passives are all really good. Defense, spirit, magic, HP, and attack. Mind Break could be situationally useful for like a really tough magic boss. It's 40% instead of Full Break's 30%. But I still think that Full Break is mainly going to be your go-to because it has everything all in one turn. It's very turn efficient and so forth. But um, yeah, I can see this being somewhat useful, especially if you don't have Full Break. He has Cheer, um, so if you don't want to use Fina and you're using a different kind of healer, for instance Alma, who has Kiraja but doesn't have Cheer, um, that could be coupled well with somebody like Ramza, who um, could bring cheer into the battle. Holy Blade, unfortunately, is a hybrid attack. So um, my guess is that it's not going to be all that powerful, and it's 29 MP, which is pretty expensive. Uh, Justice, or whatever it's going to be called in global, increases resistance to all status ailments, which could be interesting. Um, if you were to, uh, what you call it, run into a boss that, you know, Actually, let me see, is this passive that only affects... Um, you know what, I'm not even sure if this is only for Ramza, so, because I don't see an MP cost here, so it doesn't look like he could use. Uh, if somebody confirm, can confirm that, that'd be helpful. Weapon Break, kind of the same deal as Mind Break. If you don't have a full break, or if you're up against a really tough physical boss, could be useful. Now, Hero's Rhyme, I think, um, uh, Note, note all these abilities could change when they come to global as far as the naming goes, but this is really interesting because it increases attack, defense, magic, and spirit all in one go at 40%. The only downside to this is that you have to keep him singing and you can't have him attack or do other kinds of um, actions. But I know in Japan, way down the road for us, they're going to have something called ability enhancing, which basically improves certain abilities. and. This can go all the way up to 100%, which is crazy. So even at 40%, it's really intriguing. So um, I'd be curious to see how people use Ramza. They might, they might just have them singing the whole time. And then Auto Refresh, which is kind of standard on six star units to kind of um, manage their MP pool a little better because they have expensive um, abilities such as Ultima here, which is 60 MP, does you know good magic damage against all enemies. My only question would be that he does have good magic stats and he has that plus 30% nice passive, but um, I don't know how I would outfit him to make him really good at this. Uh, maybe you could do him as a magic build and um, have him be good at Ultima and just have him singing when you don't need the Ultima. Maybe that's an alternative. Um, typically I would think to equip supports with like you know nice weapons and armor, but we'll have to see when he comes out. His exclusive materia is trash. Um, I mean, it's only for one ally. It's only marginally better for cheer. You probably just want to use something like cheer and get on with it. 
Um, so that's not good at all. The limit burst is situationally useful. Um, stuff like cheer, you know, increases attack and defense. But if you were to, if you were relying heavily on a magic user, like a strong mage, this could be good because you can increase his magic pretty strong. Um, although, at the same time, you could just be doing the singing thing, which at least at level 1 is the same percentage, so I don't know. I, I, he's kind of a complex character, I'd be interested to see how people use him. So moving on, Agrius is the next unit, and um, <clears throat> she's a very respectable um, support uh, slash physical damage. On the Japanese side, she actually has the same rating as Ramza, even though she's only a 5 star. Um, they're both at 89 out of 100. So, pretty impressive stuff, and the reason is that she has a lot of useful abilities. Uh, pretty much everything you'd want in a physical damage dealer. So, as I mentioned, she tops out at 5 stars, which is unfortunately still true in Japan. Uh, pretty decent attack, 108. Uh, that's at the upper end of the spectrum for 5 star units. Good equipment selection. So she has Blade Blitz, which is, you know, the go-to AoE for physical damage dealers uh, in the mo in most cases. Um, Cleansing Strike was kind of like her version of Barrage. Instead of a 3.2 multiplier, she has a 3x, and it also has a nice Confuse um, status ability or whatever to it. Uh, whether or not that works for bosses, it's still a nice multiplier anyway. And she has full break, so if you still don't have a full break user, um, this is very much uh, a much more appealing unit for you. Uh, as far as other abilities, uh, nothing really of note except for a limit burst, which um, unfortunately is magic damage, but it does have this nice stop effect for all enemies. So that could be uh, useful against groups. Now, um, the only downside to her really is that she doesn't have an attack uh, passive like a passive boost. If she did, she would be a really, really good, powerful uh, damage dealer. And uh, I mean, she's already respectable, but that's kind of like the one glaring thing that she's missing. Her Trust Mastery is a really powerful sword called Save the Queen. It's uh, plus 112, which is not as good as Excalibur, which is plus 120. This does come with an auto protect effect, but I don't think that's very useful because you're going to mainly have um, you're gonna have cheer or you know those kinds of things going on anyway But you know better than nothing 112 is definitely a good sword So last and least uh, is Mustadio He's a base three star goes up to five stars He's gonna be pretty decent for newer players, but um, Probably not gonna make your main lineup if you're a well-established player with a good party and one of the main reasons for that is that he has a pretty poor equipment selection. Um, as far as non-TMs go, his best weapon is going to be the Killer Bow. If you do have TMs, you can have Rising Sun or you can have even his own TM, which is um, a really powerful pistol, Roman Don Pistol, plus 107, which I think is the same as Rising Sun, actually. So um, right now in Global, we don't have too many pistol users, but in the future, that could change. His abilities are a lot of these uh, shooter type of abilities that we've seen before aren't that great. Um, the, the three abilities of note, I think, uh, four, I should say, uh, are leg shot. It reduces the defense and spirit by 30%. And if you couple that with arm shot, which is attack and magic, you basically have yourself a two turn uh, full break. So if you don't have full break, you can just alternate between these and get the same effect. It just takes two turns to get it up instead of one. Um, Multiburst is his version of like a Blade Blitz. Uh, with the critical effect, it's actually going to be just as good, so uh, that's definitely uh, worthwhile. And then Rapid Fire is his version of Barrage. Now, the thing with this, obviously, is that it's very, very erratic. Um, I would say the average multiplier is 3.5, but you can go anywhere as low as 1, you can go as high as 6. So it's not as reliable, but over the course of a long fight, in the long run, it's just as good as Barrage in theory. Uh, again, his weapon selection considered. His limit burst is only one enemy, it has an almost guaranteed petrify effect, but I highly doubt that there's going to be a lot of bosses that can be petrified. So it's okay, but it's not AoE, it's only one enemy, and 
you know, you're not going to really need something special for regular enemies anyway. So anyway, that's Mustadio on the Japan side. He has a rating of 75 out of 100, which kind of tells you he's decent but not great and not elite for sure. And he's stuck at five stars in Japan as well. So hopefully I covered everything. Um, I did record this on my phone, but the recording kept messing up, so I had to use um, you know my PC and get some of the extra background noise. I apologize for that, but hopefully I was audible and um, you know this makes sense for you guys and. Um, I might pull once, do like a level pull on my main account, but definitely not pulling on my alternate account. Um, if you don't have any full break users, this banner is a lot more appealing to you. If you do, then it's very optional. Um, if you're like a TM fanatic, it's, it's definitely worth having, but um, I'm just going to do it for fun. I would love to have Ramza. Um, he's one of my, he's the protagonist of one of my favorite games, but if I don't get him, no big deal. So. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, and good luck, guys. See you guys next time.